Good morning. Welcome morning prayer on this Monday morning in the fourth week in Advent. Um, so let us begin with the word of the Lord. It's just a good way to start our day. So, O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to the coming King. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to the coming King. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 122. I was glad when they said to me, Let me go to the house of the Lord. Now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is a unity with itself, to which the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, the assembly of Israel, to praise the name of the Lord. For there are the thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper, who love you. Peace be within your walls and quietness within your towers. For my brethren and companions' sake, I pray for your prosperity. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek to do you good. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, give us the peace of the new Jerusalem. Bring all nations into your kingdoms to share your gifts, that they may render thanks to you without end and may come to your eternal city, where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Yes, our Jerusalem here on earth right now is not exactly at peace. It's sort of a disrupted peace. But we certainly pray for peace in the world. And when the new Jerusalem comes with Jesus Christ, it will be peace. Our reading continues in Isaiah in the 11th chapter, beginning with verse 10. In that day, the root of Jesse shall stand as an ensign to the people. Him, sh uh, him shall the nation seek, and his dwelling shall be glorious. In that day, the Lord will extend his hand yet a second time to recover the remnant, which is left of his people from Assyria, from Egypt, from Panthro Panthros, from Ethiopia, from Elam, from Shinar, from Hamath, and from the coastlands of the sea. He will raise an ensign from the nations and will assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather the dis dis dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The jealousy of, the, of Ephraim shall depart, and those who harass Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not be jealous of Judah, and Judah shall not harass Ephraim. But they shall swoop down upon the shoulder of the Philistines in the west, and together they shall plunder the people of the east. They shall put forth their hand against Edom and Moab, and the Amorites shall obey them. And the Lord will utter, utterly destroy the tongue of the sea of Egypt, and will wave his hand over the river with a scorching wind, and smite it into seven channels, that men may cross dry shod. And there will be a highway from Assyria, for the remnant which is left of his people, as there was from Israel, when they came up from the land of Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. And our second reading comes from Revelation, the 20th chapter, beginning with verse 1. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, holding in his hand the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain. And he seized the dragon, the ancient serpent, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years and threw him into the pit and shut it and sealed it over him 
that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years were ended. After that, he must be loosened for a little while. Then I saw thrones, and seated on them were those who were judgment were, uh, was committed. Also I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their testimony to Jesus and for the word of God, and who had not worshipped the beast or an image and had not received its mark on its forehead or, or their foreheads. They came to life and reigned with Christ a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until a thousand years were ended. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy uh, is he who shares in the first resurrection. Over such the second death has no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and they shall reign with him a thousand years. When the thousand years are ended, Satan will be loosened from the prison and will come out to deceive the nations which are at the four corners of the earth, that is Gog and Magog. Together they are there for battle. Their number is like the sand of the sea. And they marched up over the, bre over the broad earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved cities. But fire came down from heaven and consumed them. And the devil who had deceived them were thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur, where the beast and the false prophets were, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, be to God. Oh, where am I at here? In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Fear not, Mary, you have found favor with the Lord. Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the to Father, God, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. All-powerful God, renew us by the coming feast of your Son and free us from the slavery to sin. Grant us through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us. Oh, O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. In all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, Lord, who Lord, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy I kingdom come, come thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen. Well, I hope you have a great and safe day. And as you prepare for this Friday at this uh, birth of Jesus Christ, that you are blessed. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. And Pastor Matthew will be on this evening. God bless. Bye-bye.